Hi, I'm Karina. I'm Melissa. And we're making a documentary on uh, what we've learned throughout this course. Um, I mean, just kind of going off of that, what we learned from the beginning to the end of this course with our, or with the possible students we have in our class and the diversity, whether it be special needs to the diverse in culture, the different socioeconomic statuses, religion, all of that plays a role into multicultural education. So we took questions based off the course that we've learned this semester, and we wanted to ask different people their input on some of these different topics. <laughs> so I'm walking away with a lot more than the beginning of this semester uh, just by this class learning about uh, diversity and socioeconomics and yeah so these are some questions that we decided to ask our peers. Future teacher multicultural means the different nationalities coming together in education and developing into the curriculum for students to experience diversity and be able to learn different heritages in a classroom setting. To me, it means making sure that every culture is accounted for in a classroom and making sure that all the children have the equal opportunity to learn in class based on their culture and making sure I accommodate them. It just means that um, different students have different backgrounds and we should, as teachers, acknowledge those different backgrounds as a class and we shouldn't ignore it. Um, we should just talk about it and we should make the students feel comfortable in the classroom. Um, I think multicultural education means first acknowledging that there are different cultures in a classroom. Um, we can't make the assumption that everyone has the same background and comes from the same um, culture. I also think that as teachers we need to work to incorporate um, texts from authors from various cultures, um, work in history from various cultures, and also acknowledge that not all cultures have the same belief systems and value systems. Uh, so I think of multicultural education as like taking into account the different backgrounds that students come from. So uh, that could be like their language, um, if they, their parents may not speak English as a first language. Um, they might celebrate different holidays and like have different religions and I think in school we usually focus on like the main uh, holidays like Christmas and Easter so I think just being aware that um, other students may have different traditions that we could uh, teach like the whole class about and incorporate into the classroom would be what I think of. Okay I feel it's important for teachers um, to incorporate in their curriculum um, different cultures um, to discuss them so that the students all feel a part of the classroom. If you focus on one, say, Christianity in regards to Christmas and the different holidays, then those children that celebrate other holidays um, and come from other cultures are not going to feel as welcome. They won't um, be able to celebrate the same way. They don't um, feel as included. So I think even when you're you know, in the primary schools, if you have different books about different cultures and maybe even um, little lesson plans about them, um, it just makes them all feel comfortable and be able to talk openly about what they celebrate or what they believe in. Moving forward, when they get into older grades, it's the same thing. Just always keeping open communication in regards to their culture and what they celebrate and what's important to them. So some different forms of sexual harassment in a classroom. There's visual, verbal, and physical. So with every student, you have to be careful when it comes to addressing these. Every school should have policies on these and how to proceed with them with caution. It is very crucial for students to know the difference between each and how they can affect each and every student. Okay, um, obviously differentiation is something that we want to do as teachers, but it does have some challenges. Um, first being, you know, maybe you are the only teacher in the classroom and you have a classroom of 30 students. Um, differentiating for all those different needs in the class can be difficult because there's not enough of you to go around. So that's one challenge that could happen. Another could, could be um, lack of resources and materials, um, you know, that, that occurs in schools today, unfortunately. 
so that could be another issue. So I would never want to give a student uh, something that they don't have the resources to um, like complete. So if a student might not have some technology at home, like a, a computer or something that the others, like I would not expect a student to have certain things um, that you might like need to complete an assignment. Um, so I would like make sure the students have time to use a computer lab or go to the library during class. Um, and then I also think that like I just wouldn't want students to like feel any different or out of place in the classroom uh, just because they might come from a different socioeconomic status. I will read books about equality and what the definition means to the class and that way they know the definition and then I probably make some Yes, get to know each other and get to have the students be in each other's shoes. And as a teacher then, I will make sure to provide um, different sources that students may not have, like a computer. Um, maybe go, like Carrie said, <laughs> go to a computer lab, um, have tablets come into the classroom and then they can work on it. 